No worries. Now and Race around King's Row. Okay. I respect it. Uh, Alright, anything? Uh, main tracer. Okay. Um, let's see. Anything you like, not sure about on tracer, or like have issues with, or like just don't know how to proceed on, or you just feel stuck, or I don't know. Give me the rundown. Blink usage. How so? Because there's a lot of things to blink usage. Like, you feel like you're burning through them too fast, or like you're not using them efficiently. Uh, so is that yeah for like not using them efficiently or using them too, too fast? Okay. Yeah, is it like too fast in like duels, or do you like just feel like you're always running out? Generally. Run out? Okay. Too upset about here. Okay, using all those blinks is super risky. By the way, I know you want to have a, a faster impact on this um widow, uh, but that was like incredibly risky there. This is fine. Right? Some question marks about like some stuff you could have done more efficiently here, like in terms of like actual blink usage. Right? This double blink and two triple blink, like you're gonna run out of blinks within this fight because like this used all your blinks right right then right you like double blinked. Across like covered territory, right? Which both with which not only like um, was unnecessary, right? It only got that you're there faster, but also like tell it also told the widow that you're coming, right? And then you are gonna turn on this turn this corner. Where are you? There you are. You're gonna turn this corner, and then you're gonna blink. If she's standing here with a headshot prep, like with a with a scope charge uh, a charge shot prep, she can actually just kill you, right? Uh, and there's not much you can actually do about it because she lands a body melee, you actually just die, right? Um, and obviously that's not her hit at the shot, but like she's also standing the widow, so she, she can drop out relatively easily. So it's like a very high, um, low risk, high reward for the widow to stay here for a shot. She actually just bailed really early. Um, but you have actually no blinks, so you just spent them all just getting to the widow, right? So whenever you have to like, just a general rule, you don't want to spend a lot of blinks to get to people. Why don't you spend blinks for the duel itself, right? That's good. You have high ground. Is it a recall there? Okay. Okay, I guess. The big thing is like, you know the Widow drop, and you know her grapple's coming back up? So, like, once you get that kill on the Ana, you generally would, speaking want to maintain high ground control. So, it's totally fine there to like, instead of burning blinks to like, do your thing, just recall back up to the high ground and chill, right? Just sit here and cap it, right? I like, don't stand the window because it gets shot, but you know, good idea, right? And then that way you can track down the Widow in case she like, tries to extend the play, right? Like, tries to like, do other stuff. Um, or like catch the, the people retreating if they try to regroup, right? And if you stagger them as you're capping, that's a back spawn, which is on this map insane, right? But you want to maintain high ground control instead of um, dropping, instead of staying on the ground, I guess. So that, that was probably worth a read. You sort of just made your own fight really messy. Okay, let's see you flanking here. Yeah, so this is not good. We ended up in this scenario, right? Whenever you end up in this scenario, you should be like, I messed up like five seconds ago or ten seconds ago. And this is where you can look back if you're self reviewing and be like, where should I have gone instead in that time? So in this time, instead of like grabbing health and then like going right side, basically, that's like your only option since you're on low ground. Um, you like went into this room to grab the mini uh, and realize you're getting healing and then turn around. But you can just like sit here, turn around, look at your supports, be like, ah, support, and then start going this way, right? Or just initially walk out this way, right? So like you on point, you blink it. Then you start, like, you get here and then blink here, or you, like, cross early so they don't see you, right? Um, cross early, run around this way, and don't bother spamming the front line, right? It's not worth it. They're all grouped up, right? They're all grouped up. Spamming the front line doesn't do anything, doesn't really build you even any ult. And then you just, like, get around behind them, right? 
start taking the actual relevance but parts of the map, force the widow to stand more with her team like you did in the at first point, right? And then you're gonna make your play after that for free. Because like do you see how easy it was once you got here to kill to make an impact, right? Chase around the widow the entire map, you finally got here, right? And then you just killed an auto for free, right? You literally killed her for free. Um and that's like the power of like just like blocking around the sides of the map, right? You, you just force people to, to play together as Tracer, because you out dueled them. So and now you're stuck fighting a Zarya. This sucks. And you're not crushing the widow. And like now you have to do this, and it's very telegraphed what you're doing, and you're spending blinks to do it. Like the widow had time to set that up. You probably don't need a run. Like it's important to remember that uh, despite the fact that you don't have recall, you can still fight to some extent, right? So you can stay here, you can apply pressure, make these guys think twice about walking forward, fight this echo over this space, right? And if like she starts fighting you, right? Then you can start like if she starts winning the fight, then you just blink out, right? You triple double, triple blink out, right? If needed, you put the team with for healing, or you got the mega, right? And then you go right back, right? You don't have to give up all your space just because you burn recall. Uh, quick note on the blink melee. Uh, you don't really want to blink melee unless it's going to finish the kill. It, it noticeably slows down your DPS. So it's really important that, like, you blink melee only if you're pretty sure you're not going to hit anything, right? Because, like, there's so much crazy motion that you're just going to melee to hit stuff, right? Uh, <laughs> um, or, right, you're out of ammo and you're going to finish a kill, right? But otherwise, just blink, shoot as much as you can aim at, right? And then melee it to finish, right? Because you got a full clip there. You actually reloaded and then blink. So there's there's no reason to melee there. I'm on fire! Hiya! All right, you should be setting for next fight. Doc coming back. Ah, not going back to cart. Yeah, that's fine. That's a good setup in time. All right, you can choose left side. That's fine. Patient. Nice. All right, time to go. That was a big play. It caused a lot of distraction. Although your team not apparently capitalized very well. But um yeah. That was fine, I think. I you should not blink this way. <laughs> good look. Alright, you make a good play, make a big stick. Right. That was actually a really big stick. Right. And then you need to blink this way, right? Or even back this way, right? Maybe not, because the hogs fit looking this way, so you don't really want to go this way, but you don't want to blink this way, because this is towards the enemy team, like the McCree, the Ryan, the Ana, right? It's super scary. Right? This gets you this gets you slapped. Yeah, that's what it looked like. But you suck the brick. Like sticking the hog, maybe not the best, because I'm pretty sure he has breather there. Um, but like the brig stick was even better, so. Yeah, but you died purely because you blinked in this direction after spending your recall and blinks doing up, right? So, like, that last blink is what killed you. Like, everything up to that point was fine. Like, you could have done some stuff better, doesn't really matter, though. But, like, the big thing was, like, that. Right. I do like your aggression, though. Most golds are, like, not very aggressive to me. Good, you're splitting the uh, Ryzen DPS as well. You can play this way more aggro, right? When when this is going on, right, you, you the Ryan is almost not a hero, right? Because the Ryan and the Hog are looking purely at this guy and they're only shielding, right? Which means you can go really aggro in the backline and try and force a kill, right? Um, if it doesn't work out, it doesn't matter, right? You just recall as long as you don't die, you're chilling. And then you, you back up and the soldier like max up a bit and then you guys uh, like still have tempo advantage, you move the card a bunch and you uh, built time for like your honor to heal people, right? Um, but like you need to capitalize off what your team is doing. Because like you're, you're literally just burning blinks just sitting in the room, right? Farming ult. This isn't the end of the world, but it could be a lot more, you know. Like you're farming pulse, you're saving cooldowns for that. Oh, that's awkward. That was probably an unnecessary second one. Yeah. 
This one, ready for that one? I think you could have heard him, but I don't know what your audio settings are like. Or through like you're talking to someone at the time, blah blah blah, you know, so loud, he's like, can't hear this. That's already over. I thought I had pulse with junk red. Oh, I see. Oh yeah, I, for I forgot I had help was on. Yeah. Unlucky. So generally speaking, this is something I was talking about in a previous one, um, but you need to think about like um, the flank in terms of the stage of the map you're at. So when you're when, uh, where the cart is. So the cart's here, right? The cart's like walking down through here. This becomes your primary flank as any kind of ranged throw or just like tracer as well, because tracer like needs to get around the sides of the map. So like because when the cart's here, you physically can't get over this wall as tracer, right? I mean, you can if you like you like go over this thing and then, like like double blink over here. Or I think there might be a rollout over here as well where you double blink across this, right? And then you like you double blink across here, and now you're in a position where you can actually do something. So if you want to spend a lot of time doing a rollout, you can do that, right? But most of the time, most characters just walk around this side of the map, right? They get to here, right? And now they're, they're offering off angles on any team that's positioned, positioned here. Right? That's like very standard. Um, and then when the cart moves forward a bit, right, it starts getting to this corner, right? Then the, you, you just take this flank, go through here, right? And now you're in a position to hit the backline like you were earlier, right? So the cart was here, the backline was here, you're really threatening, right? But then as the, the cart starts moving forward, this flank becomes less and less useful, right? Just like this flank becomes less and less useful, right? Um, so it's really important that you realize where the, when that's happening, and the cart's moving like this, and instead of like trying to force your way down main again, which is no longer a flank, right? And you start going this way, right? Or like jumping atop the cart and blinking across, right? Um, I think those are the, I don't think you have another way across this tracer. Um, and then start really trying to focus on dominating this area of the map. Once you get to this part of the map, this unlocks everything, right? This is how you start accessing the back line, right? And, you, and people playing here have to watch this and this. And people watching this, like standing here, which is very common for like McCree or something, now have to like stare down this way, and you just like walk out, right? You blink out, shoot a bit, you blink back, and they just have to keep respecting this, right? And if they ever ignore you, you go, you go in for a free pulse bomb, and you get a free kill, right? Um, but if you just spend all your time main, you're sort of asking to like not do anything, you know? Because it's main, it's a tracer on main, like just like earlier, right? Tracer on main right here doesn't do anything, right? You gotta anticipate the fight will happen here, and you gotta move in advance around that, right? Like, yeah, you got trapped, it's unlucky, but you really shouldn't have been there in the first place. Alright, so, right, we don't want to stay main with our, with our team, right? And the fight, presumably, is going to happen somewhere in this area. So how do we set up around that, right? I'll give you a couple seconds to answer in chat. Or not a couple seconds, but I'll give you a bit. How do we get, if we know the fight is going to happen somewhere from this corner to this corner, right? Where, where's the flank we want to be and how do we get there? want to be your right room, right? So how do you get here? Mega room, yep. So you just, you go around, right? You just, like, you need us. you can't waste time here. You gotta realize, ah, we stopped out, we, 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 we've stalled out, I need to set up for next fight. Boom, going this way, right? And now I'm in position, right? For the, for the actual fight. And you need to, you need to make sure you think like this, right? And the other team backs up to give ground and start playing behind cart, right? For some reason. And you just transition from here to here, to here, to here, and now boom, you're set up again, right? Or, I don't know, yeah. like, feeling balls, you can, like, run out, jump, blink onto the car, jump, and blink again, right? But, like, that's a little crazy. <laughs> um, but the idea is, like, you can't you can't get stuck here. Um, I haven't seen you play. I haven't seen this play out. I'm going to assume you stay here for at least another five seconds. Never mind. I stand corrected. <laughs> nice job. Okay, but you got to keep going, right? This is where you stay if you're a hit scan, right? If you're... If you're Hanzo, if you're McCree, if you're Soldier, this is where you stay, right? But you're Tracer, you need to keep going, right? At minimum, this is where you should be. At minimum. If not here, right? After all that work, after all that praise, look where you are now. Look, look how little they have to do to make you do nothing, you know? That's where you are. Uh, you this, oh, that hog is the reactions of a, <laughs> of a rock. What the? Alright, so Junkrat has locked, this, has locked this down. You do not want to mess with Junkrat here. At all. Right, so Junkrat's going to sit here. This is no longer your, your space, right? You can kind of harass him a bit, right? 
But especially when the fight is moving this way past them, your team got advantage, right? You're, you just leave this drunk. Just leave him. Just mark him so he doesn't walk out, right? Like, look at look at him so he doesn't walk out of the room. And then start moving toward the, toward the places you actually want to be, right? Which is on this side of the map. And then make sure your team knows about that if you're in comms. Um, like in a team or something. Like, you're not winning this way. Yeah, and you see now, like after all that, yes, you killed the McCree, you forced the Junkrat out, but look where you are relative to the fight. You're so far away, and you're going to have to go down main to get there, right? And this is the net re result of you fighting the Junkrat when you didn't have to, right? You can participate, but you want to participate from this side, because this is how you get to the, over here faster, right? You don't want to like keep doubling down and fighting over here. Oh, okay, you just straight jump blink in. Oh, that's even better. All right. Alright, you worked over here eventually. You can play more aggressively now. Like, you don't you don't really want to have your back turned to the spawn for too long, because you walk out, if, if, you can just walk out of spawn and kill you sometimes. Right. Watch your defense real quick. Defense tracer is always a little awkward, depending on, like, how your team plays. Oh, you played Widow. Okay. Um, any questions? Comments, concerns, anything at all? Your widow position is very bad. Okay, you baited me. I'm gonna watch it now. Optimizing strategy. Turing green. What if I'd rather dream, but not to be? All right, what do you think is bad about your widow position? Five, four, three, two, one. Attackers incoming. Defend well, we're off to a great start. Let's test these hypotheses. What kind of maps? Okay. Did it ever come up? Do you feel like? Do you ever feel like your position was like bad on this map? Widow on this map sort of plays itself, so you keep changing your angle, that's it. You get like one shot up, I'd be very careful playing this far to the open. Feel confident you can go for it again. Yeah, this is the problem, right? Widow shows up, you're not ready for it, um, and you have nowhere to run, right? This is why you want to play like here, at minimum. Or here. Staring this down, right? You have closer cover to you, so that way if you get surprised, or get shot, you don't die immediately. This is really bad. <laughs> Three shots. Fight! You probably shouldn't take that fight the same way, to be honest, though. Like, you just sort of took the same angle to fight the Widow. In reality, you can just, like, back up, grapple over this, right? And assuming she's still there, like, um... Actually, I guess this is blocked, but maybe not. But, like, you, so you want to mix up your angles, generally. You want to just take the fight head-on, usually, most of the time. Because angels are very 50-50, and if you want to be better than the other Widow, you need to like be able to consistently take fights that are not 50-50. Unless you're very sure you're better. But again, like, do you see how like she's always getting the first shot on you because you're always playing out in the open? Right. This is just like super risky. It's not like I haven't really gotten to macro positioning, but like from a micro positioning, like you're just never using cover, and that's really bad. Activating the barrier. Jump out to the fight again, right? A 50-50 duel that was so close I could hear it. <laughs> it went by your head. Right. Now she's gonna mix up her angle. She really should have mixed up earlier. Again, right, she gets the first shot because your cover's bad. Your demanded healing pocket, right, at the time when the enemy team is jumping in. Not you. For the Widow, that's good. You get ready for the one you jump. He just jumped, so now you're free range. You can do literally whatever you want. At this point, I'd literally just throw a poison mine data under the map, right? Because, like, you're not worried about being contested anymore. Alright, Lucio's looking at you. Don't pop walls and run. No one can hide from my sight. Get ready for the widow to come back and spawn. Oh, okay. Yes. Yeah. This is like all the stuff you have to juggle in your head uh, when you're playing like a relatively small map like this. Um, is like you need to understand what's going to threaten you, right? 
And that in this case, it's a Lucio and the monkey. And as soon as anyone pays you any attention, you've got, you've got to start moving, right? And then also the fact that their spawn's really close means that this widow can threaten you very early. Like I wasn't expecting her to be this early because I, I didn't think she would just grapple straight up again. Um, I thought she would like be a, like like walking out of spawn and then grappling out in like two or three seconds. But that's something you need to consider, right? Is like the widow comes back really fast, has a lot of impact really fast. Um, especially if you're gonna play out here and not like in here, right? Really important. Again, use cover. Um, yeah, uh, I don't want to spend too much more time on this. Um, I'm, I guess, uh, the other guy is not here, but I don't know. I don't want to go too late. I'm just going to record it probably. So, um, yeah. Any questions on any of that? Tracer or Widow? I know my, that Widow that at the end was literally just like stream of consciousness, but. <laughs> Okay, yeah. So for your tracer, you need to be careful with how you burn links to get to positions. Uh, that happened mostly on first. Uh, and then also you need to set up a position in advance, right? It's really important that you like start walking around and hurting people together before the fight starts. Because by the time the fight starts, it's a little too late, right? Um, and then uh, also, especially, I, I was talking about this in an earlier VOD review, but like, King's Row 3rd is very linear, right? There's exactly one flank path that's relevant for the majority of the cast, right? Uh, I, every stage of the map. There's like this part, and then there's this part, right? And then there's this part. Right, and you just need to identify which part is relevant for this part for whatever like wherever the fight's happening, right? And that's based entirely around where the card is, right? If the card's like here, and the enemy won the fight, the fight's going to happen somewhere around here, and moving back a bit, right? So that means that you just need to cross over here, right? The, this flank, right? And then as the fight develops, you cut them off on the retreat, right? Um, and it's it's very straightforward in terms of, like where the fight's going to happen and very easy to predict. And that's sort of how you need to treat every every fight generally. Like where's the fight going to happen, uh, and you need to make predictions based on that, and then flank and according to that prediction as early as you can, right? Um, and that way, if you're wrong, you can correct it for it. Uh, and generally speaking, like that means you won't be late to the fight. That's really important. Um, yeah, and then for Widow, you got to use cover. Like, you got to use cover, my man. <laughs> you're just standing on the open and then risking it. Like, this Widow is really bad, she, and she still killed you twice. Like, this should have been zero kills, right? Um, yeah. Any questions, comments, concerns on any of that? On the summary? Nope, okay.